Hello everyone, how are you today? Today's lesson is about area and parameter. Remember, we said this before, we can have two rectangles that have the same area but different parameters. Open page 805 and let's go through example number one together. Elizabeth will build two fences, one surrounding each garden, as shown below here. How much area does each garden cover? So here we need to find the area of each garden. And how much fencing will she need for each garden? The fencing surrounds the garden, which means we need to find the parameter. So we need to find the area of each garden and the parameter of each garden. Let's start by finding the area. Here we have garden number one. And here we have garden number two. Garden number one has a length of six and a width of two. So the area is six multiplied by two is 12. Now, garden number two, it has a length of four and a width of three. So three, four multiplied by three is also 12. Oh, what do we notice here? That the gardens have the same area. Our next step is to find the parameter of each garden. Now we know that garden number one has a length of six, width of two. We will add all the sides. Six plus two plus six plus two is 16 feet. Garden number two, we know that the width is three, the length is four. We will add all the sides. Three plus four plus three plus four is 14. So garden number one needs 16 feet of fencing and garden number two needs 14 feet of fencing. So does both gardens have the same parameter? No. So although they both have the same area, they do not have the same parameter. Before we move to example number two, let's take another hint. We said that two rectangles can have the same area but not the same parameter. It also goes the other way. Two rectangles can have the same parameter but different areas. Let's take a look at example number two. Draw and label a rectangle that has the same parameter as the rectangle shown here, but it should have different area. So the same parameter, but different area. First, let's find the parameter and area of this rectangle. The parameter is adding all the sides. 6 plus 4 plus 6 plus 4 is 20 inches and the area is 6 multiplied by 4 24 square inches now let's move to the second step which is drawing and labeling a rectangle that has a parameter of 20 inches but a different area let's try to draw a rectangle here my rectangle has a length of 7 inches and a width of 3 inches. Now, what is the length of the rectangle? 7 inches and the width is 3 inches. Now, let's first check that this has the same parameter which is 20. 7 plus 3 plus 7 plus 3 is 7 plus 3, 10 plus 7 plus 3, 10, 10 plus 10, 20. Yes, it has the same parameter. What about the area? 7 multiplied by 3 is 21 square inches. What was the area of the uh, rectangle shown? It was 24. So now we have another rectangle that has the same parameter but different area. Let's go through the guided practice. 
Describe the length and width of a rectangle that has the same area as the one below but a different parameter. So here first let's discover what is the area of this uh, of this rectangle. 8 multiplied by 3 is 24. So now we need to we need to find or describe the length and width of another rectangle that has the same area which is 24 but different parameter which means different length and different width what two numbers if we multiply them together the answer would be 24 yes we have 6 and 4 6 multiplied by 4 is also 24 so a length of 6 yards and a width of 4 yards. That's another rectangle that has the same area but different parameters. Now, let's do question number 2 and 4 together from this page. And you will go and finish the rest of the page and send it to me on Class Dojo. Draw and label a rectangle that has the same area but different parameter than each rectangle shown. Now here, the same area but different parameter. Let's find the area of this shape in, in number 2. 5 multiplied by 6 equals 30. So we need to draw another rectangle that has the same area, which is 30, but different parameter. 30 is an easy number. We can draw a rectangle that has a length of 10 and a width of 3. Because 10 multiplied by 3 is also 30. But the length and width are different, so it's a different parameter. Now in number 4, we will draw and label a rectangle that has the same parameter but a different area. So this time the same parameter but different area. Let's calculate the parameter. 10 plus 3 plus 10 plus 3 is 10 plus 3, 13. 10 plus 3, 13. 13 plus 13, 26. Now we will draw another rectangle that has the same parameter, which is 26, but a different area. We will draw a rectangle that has a, parameter, a length of 7 feet and a width of 6 feet. Now let's check if this has the same parameter. 7 plus 6 plus 7 plus 6 7 plus 6 is 13 7 plus 6 is 13 13 plus 13 is 26 does it have the same parameter yes it has the same parameter does it have this different area yes here the area is 30 but here the area is 42 so we have now the same parameter but different areas now go and solve the rest of the page by yourself and don't forget to do your kahoot for reviewing chapter 13